So today we're going to do a compression test after running the Auto RX product in this uh, Volvo XC70 here for 3,300 miles. I uh, followed the instructions perfectly. We used a conventional 5W30 oil with this product. Auto RX says that a conventional oil will work, uh, will work better with the uh, additive because you don't have the uh, detergent pack of a synthetic oil fighting against the Auto RX product. So, eh, I don't know. Uh, but we went ahead and followed the instructions perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and do our first compression tech check of cylinder number one. I'll reverse the camera here in a minute when we go inside and we'll compare it to our original compression numbers and see if the Auto RX has um, done anything. Yeah, you know, you know uh, I think I isolated the low compression in this engine ring down to worn or stuck piston rings. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to the test and get started. I've got all the spark plugs removed and I've got our compression tester threaded into cylinder number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at our numbers. So this is cylinder number one, very first compression readings when I bought the car. So 135 was our first reading. I did do a Marvel Mystery Oil Soak uh, quite a while back, and uh, our compression reading was 145 after that. So um, I don't know quite what it'll be, but let's take a look. We're gonna do a wide open throttle, of course. So we are right under, maybe right at 150 PSI. We'll call that 149 for cylinder number one. We'll go ahead and do the rest and I'll write the numbers down. Alright, in the beginning we started out at 135, we went up to 145 after a Marvel Mystery Oil Piston Soak and came to 149 after Auto RX. So the Auto RX looked like it cleaned up a little bit and gave us a few more PSI. We're overall at 149 at a 135 there, so that looks pretty good. And it looks like the same, uh, the same trend all the way throughout. We did gain a decent amount of compression across the board. It looks like, um, let's see, 139 on cylinder four. Or before we were at 122, 130. So we definitely um, raised our numbers all the way across the board and from the original test, we did gain quite a bit. Even off the Marble Mystery Oil numbers, we still gained some. Nine PSI on cylinder four, 130 to 139. We stayed about the same on cylinder number five, cylinder number one, but, but the other ones in between did get a pretty big gain. So it looks like cleaning up a little bit did help, and uh, we probably don't have stuck or dirty piston rings. We most likely have worn piston rings or worn cylinder walls. So the next thing we're going to try is the Restore product, and uh, we're going to drive some with that. So uh, hit that subscribe button to see that video. All right, it's time to get this oil out of here. Let's take a look at our conventional oil with Auto RX after 3,300 miles. So it's dark, but it's not black. Let's wait till the uh, Stream kind of thins out a little bit. There you go, you're getting a little bit of see-through there on the edges. Really not bad at all. All right, let's take a look inside the oil 
filter housing or the uh, cap here. I'm going to get out some brake cleaner and we're going to take a look down inside. <clears throat> See what kind of stuff we got in here. So we've definitely got quite a bit of crud in that corner up there. Some more over there on the side. Unfortunately, I was using a Fram filter this time around, uh, and they are they're garbage. But uh, I did have this thing completely clean before I put the last oil in. There's quite a bit of junk down there. So it looks like the Auto RX did break it up and it made it down to the oil filter housing. I'm uh, curious to look in the oil filter itself and see how much junk is inside there. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks like uh, definitely looks like it worked. Got quite a bit of crud out of the engine and down to the uh, where it's supposed to be in the filter area. Let's open up our oil filter after running the Auto RX through it for 3,300 miles. Like I said previously, this is a Fram oil filter, and I don't know how good of a job it actually did, unfortunately, uh, on catching a lot of the particles. Um, it looks like quite a few of them made it through into the oil filter housing itself, and I think that is because of the seal design. You have a felt or paper here on top, in the bottom there's not actually a rubber gasket or a seal uh, so I think we were getting a lot of flow through so another reason why you should never buy these please don't buy frame filters they are absolutely garbage uh, also I went ahead and did a pleat count just for the heck of it this filter here had uh, 51 pleats and a Wix filter which I use and I should have used the first time uh, has 70 pleats so that's quite a bit of a difference in the amount of uh, filtering material that you have inside there let's find where the uh, pleats join up and that is right here where they're glued together take a look inside these oh man that is a lot a lot of gunk. I mean, take a look. Holy crap. Don't pay attention to the edges where I was cutting, but there's just so much gunk in here. Man, that is really surprising. Just look at that. Holy crap. I mean, it's enough gunk that I can, like, pick it off and play with it. Let's look at the other side. There we go. That's what it should, that's what it should look like. So this is the side where the oil is exiting. Okay. And this is the side where the oil is being forced through. Golly, that is, that really is craziness. Cool, okay. So the Auto RX definitely looks like it did a good job of cleaning the engine. I'm going to scrape some of this off with a knife here so you can see it. That's just one pleat. Let's do another one here. Lighting isn't amazing, so that's why I'm trying to uh, break it off here so you can see the sludge by itself. Jeez. Pretty, pretty freaking crazy. I wonder if um, the sludge was so bad that it was just bypassing the filter. So after the simple test that I've done here with the uh, compression, I think I would definitely recommend Auto RX. Um, the cleaning ability is already well documented online with plenty of form, uh, you know, support and videos and things like that. So a little bit of extra compression that I got from it 
I think I would definitely recommend it. Um, we didn't see anything incredible, and there is no magic, you know, fix in a bottle. But the improvements that I did see just from the little bit of driving that I did, yeah, I think I would. Uh, it's definitely worth the about 50 bucks that I paid for two bottles after shipping. So, um, yeah, if you have any um, experience with the Auto RX or any questions, definitely put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.